Hi guys, this is Maha, your English language teacher and IELTS trainer, and welcome to another episode on youtube.com slash English Show Canada, the English Show Canada's official YouTube channel, and you're also watching this video on facebook.com slash English Show Canada. So let's begin. All right, so as mentioned, um, we are looking at the IELTS writing task, and uh, this is only for the general IELTS exam. And in this particular video, we're going to be looking at some essential tips that will help you become a better writer. All right, so before we begin, I would like to request you all to please go to youtube.com slash English Show Canada and subscribe to the channel to support me so I can continue making such videos. And I would also like you to go to the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash English Show Canada. Like, share, follow, you know, just share it with your family and friends and whoever you think requires um, this training. All right, so the task one in the general IELTS um, exam is is basically a letter. It's always a letter. All right. So there are five different types of letters that we're going to look at. We're going to look at, um, you know, if they're formal, semi-formal, and you'll find out in the video how to write a better letter. So there are five types of letters, as mentioned. The first one is a letter of complaint. If you go down to the playlist of IELTS on this channel, you will see a letter of complaint. The second one is a letter of request. Then you've got the letter of invitation and then a letter of information and a letter of apology. So what is a letter of complaint? Or who do you write a letter of complaint to rather? You can write the letter of complaint to a landlord and this is going to be a formal Letter. You can also write it to a city councillor. Let's say you have a problem with the streetlights in your area, or you have a problem with a car that's been parked for, for days in your neighborhood. So you can write a letter to the city councillor. Maybe you are looking for a better transportation. Um, you are looking for parks. You're looking for anything, any other developments in your area, you can write to a city councillor, and that letter is going to be also formal. Then you have a semi-formal letter, which is to a travel agent. You could complain to a travel agent about a booking that they did not do correctly and because of that you had some issues with your with your travels you can also write a letter of um, complaint to a retailer so to a store so you know people are doing a lot of online shopping these days and we always get the wrong order delivered to us so you can also write a semi-formal letter of complaint to a retailer a semi-formal. Okay, so the next one is your letter of invitation. You could write a letter to a friend inviting them to a birthday party. Maybe you're inviting them to your new house. Maybe you're inviting them to the park. Maybe you're inviting them to um, a reg regular dinner. Um, then you could also be writing a letter of invitation to a family member. And these two are going to be informal. And again, for a family member and a friend, the reasons usually are the same. You know, invite them to your birthday party, invite them to um, um, housewarming, um, invite them to a regular dinner. And then again, you have the informal to your neighbors. The type of question would be quite similar for these three. The next um, type of letter is the letter requesting information. And this is very similar to the letter of request, um, but here you're only asking for information. So maybe you could write to a university a formal letter requesting them information on programs that you're interested in. You could write um, a very uh, formal letter to a travel agent, again, requesting them information about um, a travel itinerary. You could be writing a letter Letter of request to um, or let a letter requesting information to a hospital um, for some medical conditions, then to a friend, which is informal, then responding to a friend. Um, with some information that they had asked you. So maybe you get a question that says that your friend had contacted you a few weeks ago telling you that they're planning to visit your city. They want to know if that city is um, worth visiting, what are the areas that they should be visiting or um, going to as a tourist, where can they stay, where can they eat? So this is um, a response to a friend who's asked you for information. Then you could also be responding to a friend, uh, to a family member, giving them information about, um, again, a, an inquiry that they had from you a couple of days or a couple of weeks ago. So quite similar. And both these are going to be informally written. 
then you've got a letter of apology. And these are one of the hardest ones to write because it's very hard to say sorry and then come up with reasons and excuses of why you behaved in a certain manner. So you could be apologizing to a friend because you were upset with them. You could be apologizing to a family member because you forgot them to, um, you forgot to invite them to your birthday party. You could be sending a semi-formal um, letter of apology to a family member that you're not very close to, uh, but you heard they were upset because you didn't call them to your wedding or to your birthday party or any other occasion, then you could also be writing a letter of apology, a semi-formal one to your neighbor because they complained that you were noisy. Or you could be writing again a letter of apology, a formal one to a colleague, and uh, a colleague is somebody that you work with in the same office, so you could be apologizing to them for some work that they thought you would do, but you didn't. So they're different situations, different scenarios, I'm just dropping in a few of them. All right, so the criteria, let's go over the criteria, which we've gone over um, in my other videos, which are related to the IELTS writing task one. The criteria is the same, no matter what type of the letter it is, the criteria remains the same. You have to write a minimum of 150 words. I personally do not like to go over 185 to 190 words. Make sure that you are using the correct tone. So correct tone means that you use certain words that show the reader that you know how to apologize, you know how to ask for information, you know how to complain. All right, so that is what defines the tone. So the words that you use and the grammatical structure that you use for your sentences defines the tone that you are writing the letter in. And it is very, very important. Your letters are usually three paragraphs. So you start with the introduction, then you start with explaining what the problem is or whatever the main idea of the letter is, and you wrap it up with, um, with a greeting and a conclusion um, and a reminder of what you had said in your previous two paragraphs. Please remember the tone, the complaints, request, invitation, information, and apology. So we're just gonna go over paragraph one. You start off with a greeting. And if you're writing to a friend, you can say, hey, Matt, or hi, Sandra, or hello, Michael. But if you're writing a formal letter, it's best to say, dear Mr. Whoever, okay? Then you introduce yourself if it's a formal letter. Obviously, in the informal letter, you don't need an introduction. Then you also mention the reason for writing. Now, this paragraph should not exceed 35 to 40 words. So that's the maximum you should have in this particular paragraph. So about three to five sentences maximum. Paragraph two is the most important paragraph. I'm not saying the first and the third aren't, but paragraph two is where you're basically writing the main body of the letter and it contains all the information that you need to give to the examiner to show them that you actually know how to write a letter. So in this letter, um, so in this paragraph, you're explaining the situation and try to keep this paragraph to about 75 to 85 words. Your paragraph three is the last paragraph. This is where you're going to conclude. You're going to say goodbye and maybe send them a quick reminder of whatever the context of the letter was. So um, and formally and informally, depending on who you're writing to and what the nature of the letter is, this paragraph should also be about 35 to 45 words maximum, do your math. So if you've got the first one as 35 and you've got the second one as 85, so 150 minus 85 minus 35, you can do your math to make sure that you do not exceed the maximum number of words, which I personally recommend um, to be at 185 and you do not stay under 150 words. So make sure that you've got the correct number of words for each paragraph. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video where I gave you some essential tips to remember and we went over the different types of letters that you can write for 
the IELTS task one. If you like this video, please share, comment below, and do follow me on um, facebook.com slash English Canada and youtube.com slash English Canada. See you all next time.